Hey, Chase! I just saw you on the TV news. You looked a little pasty. Did you get a lead? Yeah, straight to Albatross Prison. Do you know how I can get there? Ooh, Chief won't like that. He's closed the file and escape. What if the Chief didn't know? I don't know. I'll go ask him. No, wait. Look, is there a way of getting there without the Chief finding out? Okay, there's one way you can do it. First, you get on the ferry at the jetty behind the police station. And then? You don't tell the chief about it! You... <sighs> Thanks, Frank. I'll see you later. Okay, good luck! And if you speak to Ellie, tell her I said hi! If I make two more arrests this month, I win a waffle iron! So, until we find the camera, we have to take mug shots by photocopying people's faces? Well, okay. I hope the Chief notices that I changed my hair today. It'll make being bald all last week worthwhile. So, have you found out anything at the prison, Chase?
Bluffbeard? Chase McCain. Ah, it's been a long time. I saw you this morning. Ah, it's been six hours. What are you doing here? I decided on a change of career. I'm now captain of the ferry which takes rum coves and no good ne'er-do-wells over to Albatross Prison. Great, the ferry. Where is it? I sunk it. I don't suppose you could build a new one for me, could you? Hey, Ellie, do we have any super bricks out the back of the police station? I need to rebuild the ferry. Has Frank been driving it again? Surprisingly, no. Huh. Okay. Let me just update your scanning software again. Right. You should be able to use your communicator as a data scanner now. It'll show up any super bricks nearby. After I hang up, just tap the data scanner button on your communicator and follow the instructions. Thanks, Ellie. I can't help but feel I should be a pirate. I've got a voice after all. Oh, wait. I'm allergic to parrot feathers, aren't I? I reckon I'll be stuck in port for quite some time. <laughs> Maybe I should take in an opera. No, not that.
you've saved my hide, and no mistake. Up on board and we'll set sail for Albatross Prison. Uh, okay. You never know, we might even make it there. It's nice to see they take security so seriously. I guess I'll just let myself in and then track down Blue. Thank you. 
They never stop. That'll be too soon. I have somewhere I need to be. Beautiful words in the English language? That'd be great. Yo, policeman! You belong in the law court, not our basketball court! Hey, nice work, man. You be using the language real good. I sure am, too. If that's a basketball court, where's your basketball? A bunch of real mean bullies took it off us. They are not nice. If I get it back for you, will you let me in? We'll see. I ain't promising nothing. Oh, man, that's a double negative. You have let me down. What a nice day. <gasps> hey there! Oh! Yeah. Oh! What you have for me? 
I can't wait that long. <sighs> so tired. What's shaking? My feet ache. You're gonna lose! Aw, oh, man. I'm a small time crook. All I steal are wristwatches. Oh. Yeah. Oh. I'm going straight. What day is it? Oh. You got it! All right, fair is fair. In you go. Hey, are you blue? Mm. I've had better days, Sonny. I'm Chase. <clears throat> I heard you might know about Rex Fury. Rex Fury? That man owes me. For helping him escape? Oh, why would I do that? Rex was my biggest customer until he disappeared, <laughs> owing me for a hot tub. You know how difficult it is to smuggle one of them in? <clears throat> Speaking of which... Careful with Haywood's new car, hmm? Uh, sure, Blue! So how did Rex escape? Well, that's the question on everyone's lips. Except no one's allowed in his cell to find out. Not even the police. That's not right. But... We both want to see Rex back in here. So I've got an idea. Get some gear from the cupboard in my cell. Then I'll call you with more information on this. That's a croissant. We aren't allowed phones in here. The phone's inside it. Put your number in. Go! Oh. <laughs> there. I hope this plan of yours works, Blue. Uh... Are you free, man? No. No, I am not Freeman. His lawyers might be watching. What's the matter, Haywood? You don't like your new car? Car? Uh, oh. Here. You're meant to be getting into the cell block. That could work. and it's Saturday yet. This week is going so slowly. Oh!
That's my hat! <laughs> you care? I'll forgive it! I'm just too old to be chasing young whippersnappers about. Need a hand? I couldn't hurt. Think you're up to getting all those fellers back in their cells? All in a day's work. Back for this policeman. Good work. So, is there any way I can help you, officer? Yeah. I need to check a prisoner's cell for something. He's called Blue. <laughs> Blue? He's been here almost as long as me. Always sees I get some of that cake his mom bakes him. It kind of tastes funny. There you go. I'm off for a nap. Need to stay alert. That's why I have at least four a day. Let me out of here. I'm innocent. It's a good thing these bars are between you and me. Come on, give a guy a second chance. I am really regretting my life choices about now. I should have stayed in school. Get in there? Yeah. Okay. I gotta be quick. There are guards near me. Now, once you've got the equipment, you need to get into the warden's office. What? It's the only way to Rex's cell. Wait. Shh. Yeah, that's Blue. He's the one that talks to pastries. Cuckoo. Okay. Now go. The door's at the right side of the third story, and you better hope the warden's not in there. You can't keep me in here! Not on a sunny day! Oh, come on! I'm gonna miss my stories on the TV! You can't keep me in here forever! Ah, at least it's better than solitary!
Chase, this is really important. What is it? So, do you think Ellie likes me or not? Frank! I'm at the prison, remember? Trying to find out how Rex escaped. Oh, sorry. But yeah, I, I think she does. Sweet! Chase, you in? Yeah. The warden just went through a door on the other side of his office. Hmm. That's his private bathroom. Block the door. The warden has a hidden elevator to Rex's cell block in his office, but he's not gonna let you snoop around for it. Gotcha.
Ha! He won't get out of there in a hurry. Hello? Is someone out there? No! I told you! I haven't let anyone look in there. Not even that fool Dunby. I don't want you back here either. No! Of course I didn't call you from a toilet. Gotta go. Who is that? What are you doing? Are you looking in my safe? Don't touch my records. They're alphabetized. You better not be messing with my records. Especially not the opera ones. What's happening out there? I have no idea to this day what those two Italian ladies were singing about. I also don't know why those guys are dancing together. And how did he get that saucepan on his head? Hmm. There is a lot I don't know. Let me out! Let me out! Somebody! Open this door! I need... Ah, the old secret entrance behind a painting. What a classic. This must be Rex's cell. A punch bag and weightlifting equipment? Oh, great. Because the last thing we want is criminals who are weak and easy to arrest. That's interesting. A hidden button. Hey, guys. Does Rex know you're using his hot tub? I ain't even trying! All right. Huh? So, did you manage to get into the warden's private elevator? Yeah. Wow, Rex's cell is nicer than my apartment. Mostly down to me, after the warden made sure he got the biggest room in the prison. Hmm. Well, what'd you expect to find in there, anyhow? I figure he was probably in a hurry when he busted out of here. So he might have left some evidence behind. Good luck catching Rex, Chase. And when you get him, tell him Blue says hi. A jukebox in a jail cell? I'm not sure what's more despicable about Rex. His crimes or his taste in music? That's right, it's not just police beats that I'm good at.
Ooh, I'm glad I wasn't sad on that. the last button. Ah, the old secret entrance behind a painting. What a... Hang on. Didn't I say this already? Whoa! McCain! Warden Stonewall called me. I won't tell you what he called me, but it wasn't nice. It was a nincompoop. It looks like Rex used this hammer to dig his way out of prison. It came from the Bluebell Mine. Give me that. If there's any deducting to do, I'll do it. Whoa. Hmm. Interesting. It's a hammer. And where's it from? There's no way to tell. But the Bluebell Mine seems as good a place to start as any. You see, the... There was a theft there a few months ago. I'll get over there right away, Chief. Not so fast, McCain. Sheriff Huckleberry can look into it. Stay away from the mine. That's an order. Hey, Chief, can I get a shot for the Herald? Uh, you sure he didn't use this? Watch the birdie. Chase. Hi, Ellie. What do you need? Have you seen Frank around? He's doing a favor for me. Sorry, I'm not heard from him. Uh, well, I've got you. Do you know anything about a theft at Bluebell Mine? Sure do. Uncle Duke took me along with him. Some thugs took a load of equipment. Dumby took us off the case before we could interview the witness, though. Said he sounded like a crank. There was a witness? Yeah. Kooky old guy. Hang on. Clarence Fletcher. Says here his friends call him Stinky. Nice. Thanks, Ellie. Sounds like Stinky might know who Rex's guys are on the outside. Oh, and I'll keep an eye out for Frank. And try taking the train from Cherry Tree Hill Station. You'll get to the mine a lot faster. <laughs> <laughs> 